You ready there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me get my brain going here. Cherise Rivers here with Retirement Coffee Talk, home of Zinnia Wealth Management. We are at the fabulous Inn at Spanish Bay at Pebble Beach, and we are getting ready for a Players' Cup tournament. I have a special guest here. Let me just tell you, special, extra special guest, uh, Super Bowl winner as of recent, um, coach at the Cardinals, Colts, and the fabulous Tampa Bay Bucks, and the legendary Bruce Arians. <laughs> How are you? I'm, I'm doing great. I don't know what I'm legendary for, but you, you uh, know. I'm doing fantastic. Well, your son who said... <laughs> Uh, for 15 years, you've been planning for this Super Bowl win. You finally did it. Yes, it was uh, it was unbelievable. I mean, what, the, the whole year was just uh, – I can't say enough about our players, the commitment they made to beat the virus, to, to take totally abnormal conditions and make them normal and, and win a Super Bowl. And um, That was probably it, part of it, huh? It, it really was. I think the, the, the accountability to each other, mm -hmm. you know, really grew in our locker room. Wow. Yeah, you're telling the stories that – they got a massage, or they had a babysitter. You'd make them, you'd make them get tested first. So um, smart, smart, smart play there, coach. <laughs> yeah, our, our ownership group is unbelievable. The Glazier family, they provided everything that we needed, and the guys used it, you know, to make sure we beat the virus. Yeah, you know what's interesting is we were talking in the hallway, and uh, you told me your age. And I had no clue because I was going to talk about the retirement red zone. So if you recall, two years ago, we spoke in Lake Oconee. We did an interview. We had no idea Super Bowl was on, you know, the forefront here. And here you are. You told me it was so surreal. Just, and you're still in awe because it's so recent. You know, talk to me about it. I mean, you, you've achieved this goal. Now yeah, what? The, the euphoria just doesn't go away. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. And uh, you, know, you work your whole life and you think about it. Uh, I was an assistant coach in one, two, but it's not the same. It's not the same as seeing your team do it. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, again, coaching staff did an unbelievable job of players. And, uh, yeah, it was a really special moment on the field with uh, my son, my daughter, and my wife. Yeah. You know, it was a great group hug. Your biggest cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, certainly. And so I was going to talk to you about the retirement red zone. That's when somebody <laughs> retires five to ten years before retirement. So now you're you're doing an encore career, but you're fully working here. So retirement red zone is you kind of pull back the range, start pl planning that game plan, you know, five years out. So here here's my thing. You have two years left in the contract with the Tampa Bay Bucks. Are you in that retirement red zone trying to hit the Super Bowl two more years in a row? Because I think you guys can do it, by the way. <laughs> or, you know, what's the plan? Yeah, I, right now it's just one at a time. You know, um, go for it again this year, as, as our saying is, go for two. And uh, if we get two, probably go for three. I don't know. It, <laughs> so you know it's just everything. Do how a one-year contract? <laughs> uh, just how I feel every year, you know. And um, uh, I love our team. I love our coaching staff. And, uh, you know, and – Jason Light did an unbelievable job of bringing everybody back, oh, yeah. you know, and uh, we didn't lose any coaches. And uh, You have everybody. Now you get to practice with them. And we get to practice this year, so it should be fun. We're going to kill it. And uh, I, I, the, the pressure will be there because everybody expects it now. Right. But our guys can handle that. I, I know they can. Yeah. So I was uh, talking to your daughter-in-law and your son last night. My toes were numb, and they said, come over <laughs> by the fire, Sharice. That's how you fix the problem. <laughs> And we were just talking about the charity. Where I'm about to catch up with you and uh, the team in three weeks in Tampa. And um, I just want to touch just a little bit, you know, the passion off the field. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got you got a lot going on with football. But I know you still have this side passion that you and your wife and your kids, it's a family thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you're saving the world one step at a time. And uh, the CASA program. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I watch, watch my wife. She's the real hero in our family. Uh, she was she started out as a broken family attorney. I moved her five bar exams. She said, I'm done, you know, with bar exams. So I, she started volunteering as a CASA. And I watched her save these kids one at a time. And, uh, they're, you know, from 20 years ago, they still call her, you know, and, uh, and the families, they're, they're so close. Yeah. And um, I said, if, when, if we get a platform, you know, once we got to Arizona, we're going to start a foundation to honor her work. And uh, gosh, they really needed it out there at the time. Because there were 15,000 children that in the foster it. care system in Maricopa yeah. County when we got there. And now with the Florida Guardian at Lighting Program, which are fantastic, mm -hmm. teaming up with them and, uh, you know, have our fir first fundraiser. You know, that, that was really hard last year, with not being able to raise any money for the foundations. And, uh, yes. For a lot. So this year, you know, we've got the golf tournament coming up in a couple of weeks, and they're really excited about it. 
Yeah, I'm excited about that. Maybe we can do an interview with the whole entire family. That would be so much fun for me, just to Mm -hmm. get the family unit, like, a round table. That would be great. Um, Last question for you. We talked about the retirement red zone, and you already know I work with um, 50-plus for, you know, retirees Mm -hmm. getting ready, you know, taking that stress out of work and making sure we don't have the stress in retirement. And so let's talk about... um, financial services, right? Mm -hmm. Um, A lot of people come to our office and they're just overexposed to the stock market. They don't know how to take a lump sum of money and chunk Mm -hmm. it down and not have to run out of money, basically, and we turn it into paychecks. So it's kind of like when you're on the football field and you're on the five-yard line, you know, what would coach do? What, would you would you throw it in? Would you tell Brady, just throw it in? Or would you keep it tight and run it in and just <clears throat> play it I, safe? I think you always try to run it in first mm-hmm. and, uh, and always have that element of surprise, you know, um, whether it's a little trick play or uh, uh, some kind of a pass. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I've retired three times, so <laughs> I failed at it three times now. <laughs> That's the problem, Coach. <laughs> And, uh, but yeah, it was, um, when I hit 58, it was like at that t- point in time, you know, we had the, the coaches association 75 rule for your years of service and your age added up to 75, you could retire. And I said, like, okay, I'm good. And, um, then Chuck called and, uh, got me out of retirement at that time. Then Arizona was really the cancer that it's okay. You're done. Right. And, uh, then I got healthy again. I didn't, I didn't. The broadcasting thing was not for me, and uh, so heck, let's do it again. And here we are, Super Bowl champs. And uh, and yeah, we're always thinking about it though. Yeah, you're always always putting um, the pieces for the future. Trying to game plan out. Well, mm-hmm. listen, you're my neighbor. If you ever want a real retirement plan and you're ready, you just give me a call. Okay. <laughs> <I got it. laughs> hey, I look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. You've done a killer job. It's great to see you again. Doing oh, you another bet. interview. Thank you so and, much. Uh, Have a good lunch. Oh, for sure. (laughs) Anytime with the kids, it's always special. No doubt.